Welcome guys to the first episode of the Motor Flogger Tips series. Uh, I've had a few requests lately of how I blur my speedo and blur registration plates, so this is what I'm going to show you today. Uh, I, I will be doing more videos in the future of uh, sim simple tips that can help starting motor vloggers out and even experienced ones. So if you've got any requests, let me know in the comments. So what I use for the blurring is Sony Vegas Pro 12, which you can get online, or it's probably a higher version now, but I, I like 12 the best. So I'm going to blur it a day. So hopefully you can see. I can't. I can't really make it any bigger. I, I tried making a full screen, but the software doesn't seem to like that. Right. So there we go. We've got this clip here, and if I run through, mute the sound. It's unmuted. Uh, you can see this guy's registration plate, which I cut the video too short. God damn it. Technical error. But oh, there. You can see guy's reg, so we'll cut it there, get rid of that. Right, so run through, there you are, there's a guy's reg, so we we'll want to get that blurred, just pretend it's one of your mates. Right, so what you want to do is a lot of people use the masking method, which takes twice as long and is twice as hard, it's not really worth it, so I'm going to show you my way, uh, which I learned through Calm Bikers. A video on it so kudos to him for making quite a good tutorial on it uh, so the way to do it is you want to make a copy of your video so first you have to ungroup it from the audio as as you're just going to copy both the audio and the video which is going to leave a gap and it's not needed so to start is you go in video effects and what we're going to be using is a cookie cutter and Sony Pixel 8. What this does is the cookie cutter basically get out the way. Yeah, the cookie cutter makes a shape, so we'll have it rectangle. Show you the way you can see what you're doing is you mute your first track. You see, it's perfect little square try and shrink that so actually see what I'm doing push it off the screen a little right so you have it set to cut away all but that section because if you don't no sorry other way around <laughs> yeah you have it cut like this because if you have it this way it's it's just harder to get it right so if you have this way you cover whatever you want to block with this black box you just kind of change the change the size to how you want it. So what we're going to do is go through the video using the right arrow key to where we can kind of first see the registration. Shrink the box a bit for it, make it slightly neater. Obviously you can make this as detailed as you want by messing on with the sizes. And what you want to do is the center one here, so if you animate it, this is the start of it. So what we do click on the timeline make sure this little icon down here is clicked so when you move this timeline it moves the video so what I do is click on the cursor so it's in the timeline left click and hold on the box then use your right arrow key to move the video and as you can see you can do this much quicker than Uh, using the masking tool. I have a feeling one point messed up there as it shot halfway across the screen for some reason. There we go. And that should be the blur and done for that. Right, so after you've got the black box all set up and ready, you go to your pixelate at FX and then turn it up. I usually use about 900 nod doesn't have to be perfect uh, go back into your cookie cutter change the method and to cut away all but section you see how it's blurred that little square that's the blurring technique and then if you unmute your video track and rewind it you can see 
the squares there, blocking it. Let's fast forward a bit. So here's where the blurring starts, which little tip for you is, is you see how we've done the whole clip? You want to move it, so if you unmute it, move it until where you can first make out the reg, and then press S to cut it, and then delete the first part, because you don't want a pixelated box on your screen for no reason. So if you set that back, and then at this point here, so you've got all this clean bit, and then when you can read it, pixelation box pops up. And what you want to do is just tap through it to make sure it's covered correctly. If it's not covered correctly, like this point, just go back into the FX and move the box like that, and that's it corrected. Rather than messing on, you see, I tell you it jumped up. So at this point you go, oh shit, it's jumped up. Just straight back in the FX, gr grab the box, pull it down. It's been really stubborn for some reason there. Close it and move on. And you can see I've corrected that now, so keeps it covered. There we are. And a tip which I see a lot of vloggers doing is at this point where it no longer leaves needs blurred, you shouldn't leave the box on there because it's just messy and looks shit. So just do the same as you did at the beginning, get to the point where you no longer need it. Click on the duplicated video and S to split it and then just delete and then as, as you see when the reg goes off box disappears nice and neat and it's a nice quick way of blurring it so there you have it guys there's the, the quick Geordie Biker way of blurring like I say you can even change the box size during during part so if I do that at that point Nope, sorry, you got to animate it. So this is for your OCD freaks. So like I've, I've kind of fucked it up now by starting it in the middle, but if we start here, you can see massive box, which is clearly not needed. And then when it gets to that certain point, it starts shrinking. Like that. If you don't want it to do like a smooth shrink, you come here to the size and I believe you just delete that first part and then it just means it's a consistent consistent one oh my bad because it started off big didn't it so if I have it massive there you can see the two points I think what you do is you right click and change it to hold and that way it won't do like an animation between the two so we'll do the same on this one. You gotta you gotta do it on each point, and that way it doesn't do its little fade in animation. It'll just pop, which is kind of the better one if you ask me. Nobody wants to see an animation of a big box go small. So that's it, guys. That's the easiest way. That's all you need to know about it. If you have any questions about it at all, just leave a comment below and I'll, I'll reply straight away and also if you have any requests for any other tips just also let me know in the comments so thanks for watching guys peace